It's Friday, Margarita Friday. I'm gonna do a margarita every Friday so that we know what day of the week it is because we're losing that. So it's Friday. Let's get into a handmade margarita. I was requested to make a skinny margarita from my friend Shelly who does not need a skinny margarita, but I guess she wants one. So um, if you can just make a margarita and drink it because you don't need to do the skinny stuff. But if you want a skinny one, or maybe if you want to enjoy one and you have some reason you can't overdo on sugar for any reason, this might be the way to go. Um, I'm going to do, it's basically the original margarita from the Kentucky Club, which is in Juarez, Mexico. And they claim that they're the first margarita. There is a place in El Paso that will argue that that's not true. And they can argue that the one that I had was in Mexico and it was lovely. Um, and the bartender just <laughs> poured tequila over ice, triple sec, squeezed a bunch of limes and uh, put some simple syrup and did a little stir and that was it. And it was amazing, maybe because of the location, maybe because I had five, but they were so good. So we're gonna do that. Um, and I'm gonna give you a twist for a skinny. So we're going to start, I'm gonna do just one little one and then I'm gonna make huge ones for my crew here so we can actually drink big margaritas later. But a handmade takes a lot of work. A lot of hand squeezing unless you have a juicer. So if you have a juicer, juice your limes. Um, I'm gonna do this in a glass. I'm not gonna salt this one. Uh, there was no salt on mine. I think you can do sugar actually with this one if you want. It's very tequila-y and dry. Um, I will salt my larger ones later. So, but on this, just a little glass, which is how I was served it originally in a little, little glass. Uh, and what you do, I'm going to do it in a shaker because like I said, I like things frothy. That makes it better. Um, we're going to pour our tequila. Today I went and found, I wanted 1800. Um, I think it's Tradicio now. And it's really good. They were sold out because it's really good. So I got Jose Cuervo, classic Tradicio now. It's a margarita. Don't waste really good really good tequila in a margarita because you know like the more sweet and sour you put in it the cheaper the tequila should be but there are some good ones i mean i know you guys love patron so patron's not bad but it's more of like a if you want the flavor of the tequila and you're not going to use sweet and sour and you're going to do a handmade do silver do a nice flavorful tequila gold is more buttery um, I don't like gold in margaritas. I like silver, but it's really a matter of taste. So find what you like, use what you like, or use what you have. <laughs> so if you have something sitting around, do it. We're going to do a big shot of tequila and just on some ice cubes. So it's going to chill triple sec. If you have Contro, use Contro because it's really tasty and good. Um, this is the same stuff. It's just way cheaper. So just use triple sec. It's orange liqueur is what it is. You'll do the same amount. Well, a shot. So one, two, three. So you've got a lot of liquor. And then you are just going to do... Two spoonfuls of simple syrup per drink. You can do more if you really, really like sweet because um, you're not doing sweet and sour in this margarita. So you're going to want a little more sugar. Um, so this is still actually less calories than if you pour sweet and sour. So if you do this margarita, you're still saving some calories. Um, now we're gonna squeeze lime. So we're gonna hand squeeze. One tip when you're gonna squeeze a lime, take it and roll it 
like really hard on a table, that seems to make it easier to squeeze, juicier, kind of crushes the insides before you cut it. So roll it really hard. It makes it much easier to squeeze. And I know this because we used to have some dry limes at the bar I worked at and you just, you always roll them. And you really just cut them. I cut them in half like that. I don't know if you have like a different, like a, a way that you like to squeeze limes, do that. Um, but I do that and then I just squeeze directly into the shaker, squeeze it really hard. Some of these are a little dry too. I think it's a weird time of year for limes. Could just be the store and if it's really not coming out cut it into fours you know you want all the juice out of those limes so you're gonna squeeze the crap out of them and i i remember when we used to get orders for a handmade that every bartender would like try and duck and not do it so because it kills your hands it really does squeezing limes hurts so that's one lime. This is one drink. I think you should do three limes per drink. I think we used to do five limes per drink. Just squeeze as much as you can till your till your hand falls off. <laughs> I'm squeezing some limes. Oh, that's a good juicy one. Um, you can use the little squeezy thing of lime if you don't have access to fresh limes, but fresh limes are always the best one. You know. Oh, it's looking good. Okay, I'm gonna do three lines in this one. You're gonna be all covered in juice, so be careful and don't cut your hand off because everything will be slickery. Okay, that's the third line. So my, my twist on this for like a diet margarita, tequila is actually very low in calories. I think it's on like, it's okay for keto or something. It's, it's a pretty good booze. So get your favorite tequila, make sure it's one that you like the flavor of. Um, and you'll do a shot of that over ice instead of triple sec, which does have a lot more calories, squeeze a fresh orange onto it. And then what I was thinking was you could do, I buy the Splenda the little liquid shots. This one's French vanilla, so don't use that. But they make a normal one, or they have stevia. Stevia is a weird flavor to me, but if you like it, good. But the Splenda Regular, squeeze that in like you would with um, simple syrup, because it's really simple syrup. It's just calorie free. So if you do that, and then you shake your drink, you'll have a pretty good like diet margarita, um, and then a ton of lime juice, of course. So that would be really good for you. And I think that's how you should do it and tell me how it tastes. I'm going to shake this up because I want it frothy, frothy, really well mixed. I'm shaking the computer. Yeah, that looks good. And then I'm going to pour it over my cubes and you'll garnish it with a lime. So it's going to look really clear. It's going to smell very, very fresh. And oh yeah, that tastes, that tastes like Mexico. That is really good. I actually like that better than sweet and sour. Sweet and sour gives everybody heartburn. So if you can do this and you have the hand strength, or if you're just really stressed out and you like stress balls, like make a margarita. It's, it's a good time. So that is a handmade diet margarita. Um, I like it. That's pretty tasty. Uh, I have a, I thought today was going to be hard because I got to my friend Rob's question for me and it turns out it's not that hard. He did not stump me. Uh, so when I look at what he has, he has, he has an IPA, throw that in the trash. <laughs> I hate hops. I'm sorry, guys. I know everyone's a big IPA fan, but you know, drink your IPA if you like it. He has anisette, vermouth, and creme de cassis. So in looking at creme de cassis, you can actually pour that into white wine and it's called a cur. 
And if you pour it into champagne, it's called an, a royal cur. So that sounds really tasty if you want to mix it with that. Also, it does say creme de cassis with vermouth. So I'm assuming you have dry vermouth is um, a very good drink if you want to just mix that. It's because it's a wine. So apparently that's a good pairing with white wine. Um, and then you have anisette, which, you know, maybe you made biscochitos or something. I don't know why you have anisette. But it does say you can do anisette with a whiskey, um, mix it really well, pour it over ice, and then top it with Grand Marnier. And it's supposed to be very good. I forget what the name is, like a Voltaire or something. It's a weird name. But that sounded interesting, and I know you have interesting tastes, so you might actually enjoy that. Um, and since you own those, you obviously don't like too much sweet stuff, so maybe that'll work for you. Um, so I, I'm i going to get to my little margarita happy hour today, and you guys enjoy Happy Friday, TGIF. Um, get through the weekend. I'll still do some weekend posts. I think I'll work on some little fun day drinking for you and we will meet again. So thanks. Have a good weekend. Happy Friday.